guys. Welcome to the Dagelman Farm. My name is Jane. And my name is Claire. This is my granddaughter, Claire. A lot of people call me Grandma Jane, and I love that. So um, what I'm going to do today is Claire and I, she loves to help me plant. We are going to get all the seeds ready for tomorrow. My sister Birdie will be here in the morning, and we are going to start planting our seeds in my greenhouse. So what I like to do is just kind of show you guys kind of what we do and the seeds I like, the seeds Claire likes, mm -hmm. and we'll kind of go with that. So I'll just kind of show you. The way I pick my flowers is the ones I like. I, I really don't have a special flower. I just like them all. So I'll kind of go through a few of these with you and just let you know which ones I like the best. So we'll start, and I'm going to tell you the first ones are zinnias. The zinnias are so easy to plant. They rarely ever fail and they are so many pretty ones yes. so i have lots of different ones claire can kind of just show you a few of them that we do the candy cane mix that one was um the lily pute yeah um, lily pute and this is another candy cane one and then she mostly just has a lot of the candy cane ones. Yep, we kind of have a lot of the same ones because mm -hmm. I like to put a lot of them in a bigger container. Um, the next, here's just a, we'll have a few more zinnias. We can put those over there. <clears throat> Oklahoma white. Um, I don't Mix. know how to say yeah. that one. Mixed colors, we'll just say that. Right. And then what I like to do on all my flowers, I like to put them in little baggies and I keep these year from year and I put them in there so that when my sister comes, we have everything labeled, we have everything together and then that way we can start it. When that one's done, we can go to the next one. Instead of having all our sticks and stuff, I used to write them all down and then try to put them out there afterwards, but the baggies work really well for us now. Um, what I want to do is show you a few um, perennials that I'm going to do, and these are lupine, I think is how they're what they're called. I have purple and red this year, and I love to grow a lot of perennials too just because they last long you and then also I like to take cuttings and then that way I can grow them for the next year too in case I lose them over the winter another favorite one I am going to try to do in the ground this year are the lavenders I think that's right there Claire we're gonna try to do this this year and we're going to dig up a new section. Once it's nice out and we can get out there, I will kind of show you guys um, where we're going to till, where yep. we're going to put those. We've decided to do lavender on one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to till up that. And we are going to have a bunch of just wildflowers. I've never really put my flowers in the ground, I always grow them in my greenhouse and put them in tubs, containers. But this year I decided I would like to try a few in the ground just to see what would happen and see if they will grow and um, flourish. So we'll try that this year and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Also with the flowers, Claire and I are going to take video and let you guys see how they grow.
Yeah. Um, we thought that would be really nice. Mm -hmm. And then we can see which ones grow really easy and which ones I have more difficult time with. Yep. Um, I These Sweet Williams, I really like those. But every year I have a problem keeping those where I can plant them. I plant them every year just to see if I can get them, but these are really hard to grow for me. What are these four o'clocks like? Yep, yeah, four o'clocks, these are really beautiful flowers too. Those kind of can go, um, I usually put those in a hanging basket or a basket that overflows because a lot of times these will hang over. But I'm gonna try these this year too because I they're just such a beautiful color. So this year when Claire and I went shopping, we got a lot of seeds that were yeah. colorful. We're going to try to do more colorful flowers. Yeah. Um, let's do the pansies. Okay. Here's some of these pansies. I've decided to try those. So beautiful. <laughs> yep. And we are going to try to do a lot of mixtures this year. So um, we're excited for that too. We're... Now here's one I'm going to let you guys know too. And maybe you guys can help us out. We have, we've tried these for two years and I cannot get these to grow either. They are called tritomas. I'll let Claire lift that up so you guys can see. Or They're, help us pronounce it because we're not even positive if that's how you pronounce it. Right. And we've seen them and they are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've tried for two years different ways, putting the, not so much soil, putting them down lower. I've tried a lot of stuff in the greenhouse. I just can't get them to grow. So yeah, if you got any ideas, let me know. That would be wonderful. We are going to do a lot of marigolds too. I love marigolds, and the reason I love these, they will last almost all the way through September and October. Very beautiful colors, and they're long-lasting. And that's another reason I grow a lot of these, because they last all summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just got to say, this lemonade flower, it looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Lemonade. And those turn out so beautiful. They're big and beautiful, and I get compliments all the time with those. So we really like those. Um, we're going to try um, try pronouncing that one, Claire. See if you can pronounce that one. Gazinia? Good job. <laughs> we're pretty sure that's how you spell that one. And we like how the flower is so beautiful. So colorful. Yeah, different colors on it. And... Um, that's another beautiful one to put in tubs. Um, they last a long time. I really try to let get the flowers that last long because um, the weddings start in the end of May and go through October. So I like to have beautiful flowers all the time. And I, um, sometimes it is hard to start growing yes. some halfway through the season mm -hmm. because that greenhouse gets so hot. Yep. So we do try to do as many as we can, but um, I'll just pull a few more out that are really easy for you guys to grow. Cosmos are very easy to and grow. And they're so simple and pretty. Yep. And then I will, here's petunias. You can't go wrong with those either. Nice, beautiful colors. Okay, these I love to plant around all the flowers. Can you want to try that word? Alisum, Alisa, Alisum. Yep, Alisum. Somewhere around. So here. those I have purple and white, and we have a couple of wagons, or we have um, trucks in the back. I love to put the flowers on there. Um, they just hang over and it's just so beautiful to have that purple and white. Um, so I really like those too. And they are so easy to grow. And once you get them back there, they'll just keep on growing. Mm -hmm. You will have a few weeds, but once you get those out and stuff, 
So they, pretty. Yeah, so pretty. And they just brighten up the other flowers. Mm -hmm. So we like those too. Um, this is really another one. These are beautiful ones. Are you going to try that one? Uh, cool. <laughs> uh, can 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 view us so I, I don't know I don't maybe know. you guys can help us with that one too some of these we don't even know we can't pronounce. yep it's... we can't pronounce but we love to plant them because they're yep. just so pretty. so pretty yep so we also do a lot of daisies yes. so we do a lot of shasta daisies or regular daisies because they last all the time too Yep. So those are another one. Um, we did the marigolds. We've got the long, a Can lot of wild that? ones. Envy or? Yep, Envy. Okay. They are so easy to grow too, and they look wonderful mixed in with colors. Mm -hmm. So those will be really good too. Another one, I do these large asters. Easy to grow, and you don't need a lot because your pot keeps on growing and keeps on yep. filling. So those will be nice, too. I only have a few that I am going to try that are new. I am kind of, um, I don't like to try a lot of new flowers. I'm going to try to change that. So I, I have these new ones, and I'm going to see how these do. These are called... Baby blue eyes. Yep, baby. They look so pretty. <laughs> yep. So we're going to try those too. If any of you guys want to try growing flowers or anything, it's it's a great feeling mm. not to you don't all your worries are gone. All mm. you can think about is how beautiful the flowers are going to be. Yep. So um yeah, that's about it for my flowers. I'm going to finish up labeling them and stuff like that. Claire and I are going to mm -hmm. finish that up tonight. Um, but yeah, we will keep it going. And tomorrow, once Birdie comes, I will show you that. And her and I can kind of show you how we plant. Um, yep. Her and I have done this for about five years now. So we do have a rhythm and it goes pretty quickly. Here, I'll just show you the a last couple. I forgot about these. These are bachelor buttons. And these are so beautiful. They get so big and then some of them will hang over. But this year what I am going to do, I've got a lot of seeds that I decided to do dwarfs on them. So the bachelor buttons, um, my regular baby blue eyes, the asters, I got a lot of dwarf ones. So I think the smaller ones will work better at the farm because some days it does get really windy here and mm -hmm. it does a toll on the plants. So we decided to try the smaller ones and see how they'll work out too this year. So yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I love growing flowers. I love mm -hmm. growing perennials. Um, we do a lot on the farm here. We we plant a lot of different things here. Mm -hmm. So um, Claire and I will just be this summer. We will give you tours and show you the flowers yeah. and we'll let you see how they're growing in my greenhouse. And I'll show you my greenhouse too. My boys and my husband built that for me for a, my birthday one year. And um, yeah, I got hooked and now that's all I do is I will do about 300 flowers per summer. Mm -hmm. Also guys, I take pictures of all my flowers. Claire and I love to go, we'll take pictures of the flowers mm -hmm. when they are grown just to see how they turned out. So what I'll do is I will take a couple of those pictures and we will put those up too so you can kind of see how they turn out. And then that way you can say, oh my gosh, those are beautiful. I wanna get those. So yeah, we'll do that. And yes. Claire does a great job photographing all those. So mm -hmm. we'll get those up for you too. So then that way you can see how they turn out too. So we'll keep you guys in the loop, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow when we start planting. Thank you so much, and, and glad to have you, Claire. Bye. Bye. <laughs>